I know we live in a hard time right now. And I know we all hear the same thing that, oh, you know, it's not fair for everybody and blah, blah. And a lot of you are like, oh, fuck that. Stop it. It's 2022. Stop it. That's a lame excuse. No, it's not. Not all of us get the same shake that you did. Not all of us get to get, be heard. Not all of us get the, the fair shake. Like we, some of us have to do a little bit extra. And you got to be aware of that. Just know that. It's not easy for all of us. There's a lot of voices in here that need to be heard and we don't get an opportunity like you do sometimes. So just understand that. It's not easy for all of us. And I will tell you this one story because this is to promote life from Seattle. And let me just tell you how hard it was for me. And this just happened like, like 2016, so it wasn't that long ago. But here's the story I want to tell you about Live from Seattle. I was put on a show to help promote it. And I'm not going to tell you the name of that show. <laughs> Submitted the routine, and this is the note I got back from the routine. Just hear me out. The note was, we love the routine, Mr. Coy, but can you drop the joke with the accent? No, no. And I didn't understand that. A little taken back. I was like, what the fuck? You mean the joke about my mom? Because the joke is in her accent. The joke is about a mom being a mom. She speaks English, she lives in America, and she watches your show. But you don't want her voice to be heard on that show? Take him back. That's 2016. That's when that happened. And all I wanted to know is, this is what I said to myself, did Jeff Foxworthy get the same note? <laughs> and I'm not dissing Jeff Foxworthy. I love Jeff Foxworthy. But did he get the same note? Because he has an accent, he's American, he speaks English, but I don't know the difference between Jeff Foxworthy going, hey, what would y'all like for breakfast? Or my mom going, hey, what would you like for breakfast? I don't hear anything different but systemic racism. And that's what I'm saying. Not all of us get the shame. <laughs> Not all of us get that. Just saying, not all of us get the same shake. So just know that. There's a lot of voices in here that need to be heard. A lot of us. There's a lot of us. And I'm glad I did that. Because after that, I got the next special. Got coming in hot. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Hawaii. I want to show more about us Filipinos and other cultures on top of that. Where do you want to go for the third one? Let me go to the Philippines. Wasn't even a special. I just wanted to do one thing where I can donate an hour, an hour of airtime dedicated to my mom's culture. I've been talking about it and making jokes and having fun with it, but now let me show the world what Filipinos look like, what Filipinos eat, what, what the Philippines looks like. I wanted to give Filipinos opportunity because I knew how hard it was for me to get through the door, so now I'm gonna do it. I'm going to help Filipinos that live in the Philippines get some limelight. I'm going to help some Filipinos that live in America to go to the Philippines and show their, show their, their town. That's all I want to do. Because that's what Filipinos do. When one gets through the door, we let all of them go through the fucking door. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. We're all laughing at the same shit. You turn the lights off and we're all the same color. But when we turn the lights on, all of a sudden we separate ourselves. And that shit is ignorant. So fucking stop. That's all. I'm glad I got to shoot that though. I'm glad I went to the Philippines and shot that. I'm glad I got to dedicate one hour. So that way people can see that, how beautiful our food is and our, our, our people. And see that we speak English. You know how that, that helps tourism. There's so many people that I, I bump into and they go, oh, we're going to go to Asia, somewhere in Asia for a vacation. I'm like, go to the Philippines. Oh, I don't know. What's that all about? But now they know. They get to see that hour and they're like, oh fuck, maybe we should go. Holy shit, they speak English there? Let's go. <laughs> you know how dope that is to go to the Philippines? You can get lost in the Philippines and someone will help. You can tap anyone on the shoulder and they will talk to you in English and get you to where you need. You go to Korea and get lost in Korea, guess what? You're lost in fucking Korea. <laughs>
aisle for an hour looking for Starbucks and end up in North Korea. You deserve it. You should have went to the Philippines. You get lost in the Philippines looking for Starbucks. You tap anybody. Excuse me, do you know how to go to Starbucks? Do you know how I can get to Starbucks? Right away. Yes, I can get you to the Starbucks. I love Starbucks. My God, my favorite is the mocha frappuccino. I love Starbucks. Now the directions are gonna be weird. They don't have mile markers like we do. They don't have the same kind of streets, but they're gonna get you there. They're gonna be landmarks and certain type of roads that'll get you there. You just have to pay attention. All right, listen closely, okay? This is going to get you to Starbucks. What I need you to do, what I need you to do is go down this gravel road for about, say, three songs. Pick any song, but three of them max. <laughs> On that third song, look for a yellow truck with only two wheels. When you see that truck with two wheels, make a left turn. Walk down that road, say about, oh my God, say, uh, 11 seconds. And right around the 11 seconds, a dog will run past you real fast. <laughs> Follow that dog, it goes to Starbucks all the time. It... <laughs> I'm friends with Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. I don't know if he's here, but I don't know. But, but uh, I'll tell you this story. And the reason why I'm telling you this story is because when In His Elements came out, the, my, my special from the Philippines, he calls me. And this is what Tommy says to me. He goes like this, hey, bro, I just watched In His Elements, and I just want you to know, it's fucking rad. <laughs> Don't ask me why Tommy Lee sounds like Keanu Reeves from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> That's just how Tommy talks. And I love it. Hey, bro, I just want you to know I saw In His Elements, it's fucking rad. I go, thanks, Tommy. Yeah, no problem, Joe. But I just wanted to, 